Text-to-image generation relies a lot on trial and error. If I like what I see, I don't worry too much about what my prompt was. I wanted the ropes to reach the letters from the side, but it's quite okay that they are wrapped around the A. The only real change I need to make in my prompt is of course the letter itself. However, in this series, I also switch between a few colors. I found out that making letters with AI is a lot of fun. In most cases, I get the letter I ask for. This D here, however, started as a U. I limited the range of colors I cycled through just to keep it simple. If I want orange, I typically ask for sepia, or a term that will keep unwanted oranges away from the image. It could be frustrating when a letter comes out wrong, but because it's so visual and quick, it tends to expand my possibilities. Possibilities mean opportunity. How do I select my images? Let's go through them a bit. Every generation results in more than one image. When I browse through my images, I just make a quick choice. I like the ropes here. Ah, the way it pokes through the flesh. Yeah, pretty sensual. Oh, that layered yellow. Now, what about all those added accessories? This is just interesting how the body rests on the floor like. This is a funny cue, but it's obviously a cue. I guess you get the point by now. I want to make it quick. I'm looking for some intrigue. Some are better than others. But it takes me through some reflections that inspire me to move on and do stuff. What do you think? If you had to make a choice, what would your own countdown look like? If you have any comments or questions, post them below. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. There will be more. Thanks for watching.